Do you hear that? It's cicada season. The sounds of cicadas have become inescapable in many parts of Tennessee. A hearing and speech expert tells us about how the insect's high-pitched noise affects our ear health. Nashville is known for its music, and now the cicadas are joining in. I hear a lot of cicadas. <laughs> they are loud. You can hear the high-pitched song of the world's loudest insect all over the state. When you're walking around campus, when you're walking around Nashville, you can hear them wherever you go. Is it too loud? Is it going to hurt me? Is it going to be a problem? Todd Ricketts is a professor and vice chair for Vanderbilt's graduate studies in the hearing and speech department. He says what you're hearing reaches 80 to 100 decibels. 85 is when it can get dangerous. For most people, that's nothing we can't handle. It's loud, like midday traffic, but quieter than a concert or live performance. Meaning when it comes to your ear health, cicadas are mostly harmless. You're not doing it all day, every day for 10 or 20 years. It's a few weeks. Rickett says for anyone who has hearing issues already, like tinnitus, the impact of the outside chorus varies. And so there are people with ringing that find cicadas extremely uh, beneficial. And they say, oh, I feel like I can live my life normally because it's this distracting noise and I don't hear the ringing. And there are other people that the cicada noise actually reminds them of their tinnitus and it can cause anxiety. And while the short-term visitors may sneak up on you, the loud soundtrack of the cicadas is just temporary. Try not to worry too much. They're not here for that long.